guys, welcome to Musical Storytime. My name is Miss Lauren and I'm very happy to be here. We're gonna sing some songs and we're also gonna read a story about a frog that loves music. And he plays guitar just like me. This is my guitar. I love to sing and play music. And guitar is my favorite instrument. So let's start off by singing a couple of songs. today we're gonna to sing old MacDonald first can you tell me what animal this is it's a dog you're exactly right what color is it it's brown very good look at his floppy ears and what sound does a dog make woof woof that's exactly right very good we're gonna sing old MacDonald old MacDonald had a dog here we go Old MacDonald had a farm, he Exactly white and gray. Very good. Now, what sound does an owl make? Hoo, hoo, very good. Let's sing Old MacDonald had an owl. Mr. Frog. Can you wave to Mr. Frog? Say hi, Mr. Frog. Very good. Now, can you tell me what color Mr. Frog is? Can you see? Look, he's green. Very good. A little bit of yellow on his belly. Very good. Do you notice anything else about his skin? He has these beautiful spots. Very good, very good. Now, can you tell me what Mr. Frog likes to say? What sound does he make? Ribbit, ribbit. Very good, ribbit, ribbit. So we're gonna sing Old MacDonald had a frog. And guess where frogs like to hang out? They like to hang out in the pond. So we're gonna say Old MacDonald had a pond. Very good, here we go. to be here. We are going to read a book called 
by the light of the moon and it's about a frog that loves music and he wants all of his friends to sing with him. Um, we'll get into that in just a minute. Before we read our book, we are gonna do a song that you know called Five Speckled Frogs. Can you show me five fingers? One, two, three, four, five. Good job, let's count the frogs. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. So our five green speckled frogs are sitting on a speckled log and we're gonna see what they do. Here we go, sing it with me. Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Show me four. Good job. Let's sing it. Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Let's count the speckled frogs that are left. One, two, three. Can you show me three with your fingers? Right, three. Very good. Let's keep going. Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Glove, glove. Let's count them. One, two. Now hold up two fingers. Good job. Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. Glub, glub. So we have one. Show me one finger. Point to the frog. There he is. Let's see what he does. One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Good job, you guys. You guys are great singers. All right, you guys. Today, the book we're gonna be reading is called By the Light of the Moon by Fran Preston Gannon. And this book is about a frog that loves to sing and play guitar, just like Miss Lauren. And he wants all of his friends to sing and play with him. And he also is gonna meet another friend who has a very tiny voice, but that little voice is gonna make a big difference. Let's get into it. A little frog sat in the nighttime air in the swamp by the light of the moon. See the moon? He sat all alone in the little green pond, singing his little frog tune. He's got his guitar with him. But all by himself, his voice was so quiet that he stopped and he let out a sigh. <sighs> Singing alone is not much fun. What a sad, lonely frog I am. So he hopped and he jumped over lily pad leaves and into the blue of the night to find someone else to join his song and make it sound just right. He found a friendly crocodile who was drumming and humming in time. My friend, he called. Will you sing with me? Will you add your song to mine? He's got his guitar there. Let's see what the crocodile says. 
So the crocodile hummed and beat his drum while the little frog sang his tune. But something was wrong as they both sang along in the swamp by the light of the moon. Now, do you notice a little friend that keeps showing up? There, it's a little firefly. They found a group of musical mice who sang and played a flute and a gong. They made a nice trio, the little frog thought, and he asked them if they could sing along. Do you think they will? Let's see. They did. The mice sang high in the dark night sky and the crocodile hummed and beat his drum while the little frog sang his tune. But something was wrong as they all sang along in the swamp by the light of the moon. Down in the murky depths of the pond, some little fish swam to and fro. Froggy called down, will you sing with us? So they added their voice to the flow. Now, do you spot our little friend? Where's the firefly? Let's see if we can find it. Oh, there it is. So the fish sang loud, their voices proud. The mice sang high in the dark night sky and the crocodile hummed and beat his drum while the little frog sang his tune. But something was wrong as they all sang along in the swamp by the light of the moon. So we've got all of our friends here singing. There's our little firefly friend. Let's see what happens with her. Some birds flew down from high above when they heard the hullabaloo. We love the song you're singing, they said, and we'd like to join in too. So the birds sang along and added their song. The fish sang loud, their voices proud. The mice sang high in the dark night sky and the crocodile hummed and beat his drum while the little frog sang his tune. But something was wrong as they all sang along in the swamp by the light of the moon. What could be wrong? Froggy put down his small guitar. Somehow it still wasn't right. But then he saw a shy little bug not adding her song to the night. Where is she? Sitting up there. What's wrong, he said. Why are you so quiet? Please join in and sing along. Not me, said the bug. I'm far too small and my voice is not very strong. My friend, said Froggy, your song is unique and important, like all the rest. Even small voices count, so let's hear yours. Only you can sing your song best. So the bug sang out her very own song and her small voice carried far. She bizzed and she buzzed to the beat of the swamp and she lit up the night like a star. Look at that. Then the birds sang along and added their song. The fish sang loud, their voices proud. The mice sang high in the dark night sky. The crocodile hummed and beat his drum while the little frog sang his tune. And as the song spread all through the swamp, each voice blended in with the rest. Now everyone knew that the song of the swamp needed everyone's voice to sound best. Together, the animals, the plants, and the moon, the earth, the pond, and the shining stars too, they all sang together their wonderful tune in the swamp by the light of the moon. The moon in the swamp by the light of the moon. The end. All 
right, everyone, we're going to do one more song before we end story time. And we're going to sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. But I'm going to teach you how to sing it in sign language. So the first part you need to know is Twinkle, Twinkle. And it's just very simple. Just go like this. Twinkle, Twinkle. Good job. Now to say star, you're going to take both of your pointer fingers. You're going to go up and down like that. That means star. So twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder. You're going to point to your head on the side right here where your temple is. You're going to say, how I wonder. And then what you are. Very good. Now up above the world so high, we're just going to go like this. Up above the world so high and then like a diamond you're going to make a diamond just like this put your fingers together you're going to make a diamond shape like a diamond in the sky good job now you know how to do twinkle 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 little star how i wonder what you are are you ready to sing it and do the sign language at the same time? Let's try it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Very good. Give yourself a hand. Thanks for tuning in to Musical Storytime today. If you want more information about online programs that we're offering this fall, please visit cvlga.org. Have a great day. 90% of brain growth happens before kindergarten, 90%. So talk, sing, read, write, and play with your child every day. Those five simple steps build the foundation for a lifetime of learning.